Okay, now I want to talk about cards in Bootstrap. So we're using the Bootstrap CSS to design our pages, and there's a common layout element called cards. You'll see this on a lot of websites where you have this element, as you can see here, and it's got a very fine frame around it, this light, light border that goes all the way around. <laughs> Oftentimes there's a picture up in the top, then you can have other content inside of here. Sometimes there's multiple images, but typically it's shaped like this. It's a rectangular thing with an image and some text, buttons and links at the bottom. So this element, we have a bunch of pre-built things for us in Bootstrap that we can create these. Simply create a div with the class card. Then inside that, we add an image. If you want an image at the top, you can put card image top or card image bottom. If you put the card image bottom, I don't know how well, how well you can see this, but what happens is the rounded corners on the image are now on the bottom edge instead of on the top. These are now square edges. So we would actually take this image, cut it out, and place it down at the bottom. Oops need the whole thing there. There we go. So we place the whole thing down below the content. Now we have an image that's at the bottom. So this class, card image bottom, is just rounding off these corners down here. Okay, so I'm going to put that back to the way it was, put that on the top. That's a more common design pattern. Then the rest of the content would just go inside of card body. Again, just a div element with card body. Then we can add a heading, card title, and whatever content you want with card text. Links, you can have buttons, you can have links with card link, or if you've got a button that you want to add inside of here, we can just give it the class button, and then one of the colors, just like this. So there's our button with the hover effect working. Okay, now, that's just with one card. If you want to be able to build kind of a grid and not have them fill up the whole screen, well, we can do something if you've just got one card that you want to control. Something like this, where we set the width at a percentage of whatever the container is, and then set your max width to a certain size, so once you get up to a really, really big screen, then it doesn't get any larger than that. So we can do things like this, and if you're using container fluid, this will work as well. But I want to have a grid. I want to have the, the whole grid, not just one element. So I'm going to come back in here, comment this out. I'm not going to use that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to build a grid using the grid system from Bootstrap. So inside of here, we'll create a div with the class row. So I put the end of the row there. And then we create a column around each one of the cards. So div class. And then you can determine what size you want. I'm going to use a 6 so that it is automatically half. So this is going to be half for anything at the small breakpoint. So here I am below the small breakpoint. When I reach the small one, now I've got a column that is half, and anything ab at small or above is going to be half. So as we size up, it automatically snaps to these different sizes. When we get below small, it's going to become a column. So let's just add another column inside the same row. So inside this row, there we go, I've got a second one added, and I'm going to just change the numbers in here so I get a different image coming up. There we are. So I have these two images, two cards. You can see it snaps to all the different breakpoints. So those are cards, and you want more and more, you can add more rows, you can add more columns. You want them to be a third? Well, let's add a, another one in here. Right now with six, six, and six, they're going to wrap around onto the next line like this. 
and they're also pressed together here. So what I want to do is I'm going to move this one up into this row so that I've got one row of cards inside the row, the div with the class row. I'm going to change these so they're four, four, and four, so they each get a third. There we are. So now they're each taking up a third. And as we snap to the different breakpoints, there we go. Now, this to me looks a little bit small. So I want to do do the three columns at the medium breakpoint, and then at the small breakpoint, I want to have it become two. So we can say that at the small, we're going to do six and six and six, but at the medium, call medium, I want four. So I have that wraparound happening now. But it's three and then it goes down to two. So this is much more manageable width for the content inside of here. I don't want to get really, really small for the content that's inside of here. Typically cards don't have a lot of text. We can change the amount of text inside of here. We can make it just one sentence. Here, I'm going to change this number as well. I still have that issue that I mentioned before about the spacing. I don't have any space in here. So what we'll do is we can come to each one of the columns and then use those utility classes. So let's say on the column, I want padding on the top and bottom of one REM. So padding in the Y direction on all of the columns. There we go. Now I've got consistent spacing throughout. And if this is too much padding in here, we could decide that we only want to put the padding on the bottom. So make this PB instead of in the Y direction. It's just padding on the bottom for every one of them. And that way, inside of here, there's just the one. So you can figure out your own padding and stuff to make it work with your design. But we can continue to add cards to this single row and they will continue to wrap and wrap and wrap and they will always fill up whatever proportion you have. You just remember that you've got 12 columns per row. That's the way the grid system works with Bootstrap. That will continue to wrap as I add more and more and more inside of this single row. Just remember that these numbers, just make sure that they add up to 12 evenly so that you get an even number per line. Okay, hope that helps you out. Hope that helps you with cards and with building grids of cards. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will leave a copy of this code as a code just in the description, and I will also leave a link to the Bootstrap official documentation for the cards page. All right, as always, thanks for watching.